Thanks for checking out Shappy Pretzel. So here's how this entire thing went down. Let's start at the beginning. So when the pandemic started in March, everybody and their mother was at home cooking, baking, and I was definitely one of them. And as a Philadelphian, my comfort food is Philly soft pretzels. So I started a process of trial and error because there's no recipes for this kind of stuff online. So I made some pretty bad pretzels for a couple months. That one was a little weird to begin with. That one's giant. And then one day I make a batch, I open up the oven, I pull it out and I'm like, Katie, these are Philly soft pretzels. I'm the most powerful man in the world. So I'm making them for friends and family and dropping them off. And then things change right around August 4th. So. My wife, Katie, and I are both actors. I want to be a gladiator in a suit. Good morning, you young, brilliant minds. So while we were doing a musical called Waitress in New York together, Katie started substituting for Kelly Ripa on The Kelly and Ryan Show. Hi Such a fun job. But during the pandemic, it's kind of intense. It's like a live national broadcast in our living room at six in the morning and I'm our only crew. So anyway, they're on the show and Seacrest says to Katie, what have you guys been snacking on during the quarantine? And Katie's like, oh, well, Adam. Adam's been doing Fame. that and that's what he learned to do in quarantine. He makes pretzels. Has he had and Seacrest goes, I want some soft pretzels. So I jump on TV as one does when, you know, there's a national broadcast shooting in your living room during the pandemic. And I'm like, yo, Seacrest, I got you. I'm bringing you pretzels because I thought it would be the perfect ending to the story that I had been Instagramming, my soft pretzel journey. So I wake up the next day at like four in the morning, I start whipping together a fresh batch of pretzels. Yo, these are for you, Seacrest. I take them out, I give them to the assistant, she takes them to Seacrest, and the whole world exploded. Okay, I'm not gonna do one of those Jersey Boys things as much as I want to. So Seacrest is talking about these pretzels on national TV for like an hour. He's talking about how they're fluffy and puffy, fluffy and doughy. And, and, and puffy and doughy in the middle, but that great mm. pretzel flavor on the outside. So I'm in the dining room and I make a website. And the website just says, your mall's pretzel can go f itself with a little button to shappy pretzel. So what I intended to be the end of my soft pretzel story actually ended up being the beginning of my soft pretzel story. So two weeks later, my street looks like the drive through at In-N-Out. There's cars lining up. I'm running pretzels out to everybody. I'm making two, three, four, 500 pretzels a day in my kitchen by myself. I'm calling on Katie to help me. I got her brother and sister-in-law over here to help me. I'm running up and down the driveway, dropping off steaming hot pretzels to people's cars. There is flour covering every surface of my house. After about a month and a half of making pretzels every single day, I find a bakery I can work out of down in El Segundo called Bread Bar LA. Awesome. I start teaching these guys how I'm making the pretzels, what my process is, and just like that, I'm out of my kitchen. So now I need a pop-up, and who comes to my rescue? Hootie and Mira. My favorite ladies from my favorite cafe, Gourmet 47, they're like, you should do the pop-up here. And all of a sudden I got a pop-up and everybody's showing up. There's celebrities, there's chefs, there's Philadelphians, there's the news, the new the news was in my kitchen. This is the thing I've ever eaten in my life, Shoppy. <laughs> Busy Phillips, just one of many big name celebrities who are obsessed. I already broke off a piece of my Shoppy pretzel. There he is. The pretzels are delicious, but we're not selling pretzels. We're selling hugs yeah. from home. Hi, Katie. We're selling hugs from home. <laughs> <laughs> we always sell hugs from home. I love you. Once we got the pop-ups going, things really started moving. We're doing film sets. We're making pizzas out of the pretzels. We got presidential lookalikes stopping by and some of the cutest kids you have ever seen. We were in the Hollywood Reporter, the infatuation, Philadelphia style. I was on the cover of Pretzel Magazine. Okay, that one's not real, but it should be. So that's the story of Shappy Pretzel, although I have a feeling the story is far from over. See you at the pretzel shop.